know, I'm still not gonna let go of that question. One of the questions regarding this whole Wilder Tyson Fury controversy. Who started the narrative that Mark Breland spiked his water? Where did it come from? And who pushed it? I was talking a little, I asked that question on, um, over on DJF's um, Speak Your Mind Sports Talk. Go over there, subscribe to DJF, man. Speak Your Mind Sports Talk channel. Go check him out. Subscribe to the brother, man. That's my homie right there. But I brought the question up. And pretty much, D says, and like a lot of other people might be thinking too, maybe it wasn't Deontay Wilder that started that narrative, man. Maybe he didn't say it. Maybe he didn't come out with it initially, right? Could have been all these LDBC cats that threw that narrative out there with the spike water. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the limb and say it, man. Who could have been? Because a lot of these dudes be making up shit, bro. And and a lot of people said that. They they make up stories, they push narratives. As much as I defended for nine that one time, um when people were coming for him and stuff like that his own people right his own squad men sometimes for nine will make up stories sometimes i hear a lot of a lot of those channels a lot of those channels like that man they push narratives to fit their 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 fighters that they ride with man and you will all you will almost think like these fighters are like giving these these channel kickbacks or something like they're they're sponsoring them financially or some shit and they, and they ain't they ain't got a they ain't got a leg in a fucking race when it comes to these boxes they don't give a shit about them they just trying to get exposure that's that's all they care about as far as i'm concerned but who started the narrative where did it come from it had to come from somewhere it had to come from somewhere Somebody had to put that in the air and then put it out there. Like, hmm, let me see. Let me let me come up with another reason why Deontay Wilder lost. Let me say, Mark, it's Mark Breland's fault. Not just the gloves, which would be JD's fault. No, it's also Mark Breland's fault for the spiked water. Okay, well then. It's three people's fault then. It's, it's Mark Breland's fault for the spiked water. It's they, JD's fault for the floppy gloves and everything else. And it's Deontay Wilder's fault for the heavy suit, right? All right. Guess, guess that's what it is then, huh? I don't buy it. I don't buy it one bit. What if, I will keep asking that question. I was supposed to do a live yesterday on it again. But I'm gonna do another live, probably sometime today I'll start another live. And then this time, the people that wanted to get on and speak their mind and they didn't get a chance to, now they can. And answer those questions for me. The questions that I asked on my live. Who started the narrative of Mark Breeland spiking the water? Did Deontay Wilder take a test to verify what drug was that he was laced with? How come JD's isn't fired for not paying attention to the gloves, right? Assuming that Tyson Fury really did have fucked up gloves. Some of those, those are some of my questions. How come nobody can answer those questions? How come nobody in the LDBC can answer those questions? How come nobody in the LDBC checked wild on saying the suit was too heavy? Real warriors don't complain about weight over their suit. You had warriors back in the day, samurai warriors with big ass metal suits on, fighting in those metal suits. You had African warriors with all type of shit on, all everything, fighting in fighting in suits, man. You got football players with big ass shoulder pads, all type of equipment on, and they and they getting rock banged around and rattled and shit for the whole for the whole game. You come out with a with a with a heavy suit for f not even what, what five minutes maybe, and then this 
the suit is, the, is, is what's causing problems for you. Come on, man. That's not... That's, that don't sound like a warrior to me, man. Shit, man. What you know about Afghanistan and Iraq and shit like that? Walking with a rucksack. A big-ass 50-pound rucksack. With all type of shit in there. In 100-degree weather. And sticking with a... With a with a, a six pound rifle slung across your shoulders you gotta carry that with gloves not to mention hot ass fucking combat boots for fatigues you you all geared down body armor shit yeah but you upset about a suit come on man are you trained? Warriors. Well, I guess the word warrior is just thrown around lightly now, bro. Everybody got their own. Everybody got their own uh, perception of a warrior, man. But whatever. I'm off this, man. Let me know what you think. Where did that come from? Who started the narrative? Get back to me, man. I'm off this. Catch y'all later.